Today we have this 1940 Underwood Universal Vintage Portable Typewriter. I'm going to show you how to use the functions and make sure they all work. The margins are located behind this flip panel and you just push in like that and you can move them to wherever you want. Um, right now they are set. This is your left margin and they're set pretty much at the beginning and the end of the page. Like so. As you can see that left margin is right there and that right margin is right there. A better view. And once you hear that bell, you're at the end of the margin. You hit this line space, gets you back to the beginning and skips one, two, or three. Right now we have it on single, but if you want double space, there is a little lever right here and you flip that down, that will skip two, down one more, and that will skip three. We're gonna keep it on single for now and finish typing. And that's all the keys. As you can see, all of them type nice and none of them skip or stick. Type a sentence, oh, not skipping right. There it is. Very nice typing machine. I forgot to put a space in one of those, in the, the lazy. That's okay, that's what you gotta deal with when you're working with a manual typewriter. You learn your lessons very quickly. To pull that paper out easy, you just flip this switch towards you and it unlocks the rollers underneath the platen allowing you to pull the paper out easy or load thicker paper like carbon copy or card stock. Make sure you flip that back before you load the next page or else it won't load correctly. Backspace on the left side here. That works good. Got a shift on each side and a shift lock on the left to clear that. Just hit that shift button again. This is your touch control from low to high. That loads the spring underneath the keys. So the higher you are on that tension, the harder you have to hit those keys. The lower, the less hard you have to hit it. We have a carriage release on each side on the top portion of the carriage. You just hold that down and you can control that carriage freely. Have one on each side. There's a lock on this side so when you put it in the case you can lock it. And it won't go, it'll only go in one direction if you do that while you have the carriage release. Um, but once it's in the case, both of these knobs are flush so it doesn't unlock on its own. And that protects the star wheel and the escapement from breaking, which is a gear inside the internal structure of the typewriter. This is your color selector switch. Uh, if you switch it to the top portion, it will hit the bottom portion of the ribbon. And when you push it down, it'll hit the top portion of the ribbon. You put it in the middle, it won't hit the ribbon at all because the vibrator does not go up. We're going to keep it on blue because we have a solid black ribbon. This is your direction control. So right now, all the brand new ribbon is on the right side, so it's pulling to the left. If you wanna switch that direction, you just push that back and it'll start pulling to the left. We're gonna keep it down so it pulls to the left. That's about it. Now available on eBay or Etsy, search Brooksaw Antiques.